Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thanks for Parasite for having me. Uh, in this uh, first session, uh, I would like to to more of a quick updates of uh, the collective situation in Indonesia, especially art collective. And uh, I was contacted by Cosmin and Anki, and then uh, to me, uh, this collective is very connected to how, how Indonesian artists learn and sharing uh, by each other because of the, the lack of infrastructure there. Uh, quick overall, this is uh, Indonesia, where it is. Uh, our flag, red and white. That's our island. And this is where I'm from, Yogyakarta. And the capital is Jakarta. It's over there, like 10 hours of uh, train, basically. And quick copy paste from Wikipedia. That's our facts. We are the biggest archipelago country. We have uh, I don't know, 800 languages, 742 dis different languages, 300 dist dif distinct native ethnic groups, and majority is Muslim, of course. And we are the fourth largest population in Indonesia. We have the orangutan, we have the tigers, we are, and of course we have the cat. Godzilla is from Japan, actually, but we have Komodo. And then, and I, I also love memes, so uh, they're still endangered species, even though they can reproduce as sexually. Uh, and then we are like the, we have the gamelan, and just to say quickly, that's Bali, it's part of us, not Indonesia, it's part of Bali. Um, <laughs> So uh, a bit of myself, I, 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 <laughs> I, I come from an engineering background, uh, but I was active in uh, experimental music, electronic music, uh, back in the early of 2000 in Indonesia. And, and I do a lot of programming at that time. Uh, and in my school, I, I kind of decided to, to, I was interested in the uh, making code for for uh, for my university graduation, and I design a kind of how to calculate geometric design for a road. Quite, and at the same time, I was interested in the creative coding, experimental music, and Indonesian scene is very small at that time. So everything is interconnected: music, art, everything is interconnected. So I have the the when you organize something, you kind of meet. A lot of interesting people, and one of the interesting was uh, this uh, collective called Art YBN from France, and I was really inspired by them, and I started doing art. Uh, and a brief history about Indonesia. This is the major situation. Uh, firstly, it's like just to to get you into the context. Dutch colonization, three and a half century. Uh, we are called Dutch East Indies. Some Mandarin still called us Indi, Indi. And uh, also another bad jokes uh, and memes. Uh, <laughs> so basically they come in the 16th century uh, and, and after uh, several countries like Portuguese, Spanish, British come to us, but the Dutch love Indonesia, so they stay for three and a half centuries. And also there's a small history of uh, Japanese occupation in 1942, 1945. And it's interestingly that uh, actually it was, uh, there was a prophecy from 11th century that the yellow dwarf will, will save us from the whites, basically. So the yellow dwarf, I'm sorry to the Jap Japanese, we called you that, but that's how it happened. And during the Japanese came to Indonesia, there was like a dancing. Everybody was like saluting them to come to Indonesia, and we are finally saved by the whites. And they kind of let us to train us, the military, and this is our first military, and leading to the final of the uh, Independence Day in 1945. After that, things got more complicated. As Sukarno, on the left side is our president, uh, it was like 45 to not 65, and Suharto, the general coup d'etat of the Sukarno in 95, and there's the new order, 1966 to 1998. 98 falls, big riots, people are on the street, and that was the end of the 
new order in 1998, a new era comes, uh, we call it the Reformasi, uh, and there was a big tragedy of May, in May 1998 involving casualties of people and a lot of uh, uh, discrimination, uh, violation, vandalism, everything happened in that period. And during the Sukarno era, I would like to talk uh, a one collective. We, we can call it this like a legacy of collective called LECRA, or Lembaga Kebudayaan Rakyat in 1950 and closed by 1965. At that time, LECRA is like a, kind of like under government, basically. But they were really close to the society and inspiring artists to live uh, with the common people. They were really criticizing of paintings that's just the drawings that's showing the high class people or people in the middle to up uh, class. So they were, they were really inspired of the, how art should be close to the people of Indonesia. And they do a lot of encouraging people, uh, artists to go to the people living in the farm, sleeping on the soils, and they heavily criticizing Sukarno at that time. And it doesn't really sure how it ended in 1965, but because they were really close with the Communist Party at that time, uh, a lot of them actually really just gone. And this, this, this uh, movement was followed up by until 1998, after the dictatorship era of uh, 32 years of Suharto. Uh, it was a kind of a celebration for Indonesian because uh, during the 32, 32 years of dictatorship, we kind of really not cannot form into groups. There was like a policy that if you're like four or five people, you get together, you have to, to report to the local authorities and they can really just dismantle you right away. So 1998 was like a celebration of euphoria of Indonesia coming together that we can form a group together. And one of the, the very important uh, art collective was born at that time was Taring Padi. And they were really, if you kind of see how they are, it's really inspiring by the Lekra movement in, back in the 1950s. Quite similarly, the arts too. And some, some, some collective also was born at that time. It was like, uh, it was like Ruang Mes 56 from Yogyakarta in 2002. I think Ruang Rupa is 2000. Wang Yard Factory 2005. Common Room Bandung also in 2000. Skunchi was 1999. And several of them still active uh, at the moment with their own uh, kind of uh, interest. Ruang Mess working on like media and photography, and Ruang Rupa is in visual arts, Jatiwangi Art Factory is art with citizenship, and then Common Room was interested in the media, and then Kunci uh, just now it's transformed their cultural study center to become a forum of study and collective. And this is also my collective called Life Patch, and which is the second part of like kind of. 10 decades of, uh, of collectivism in, in Indonesia in 2012. And we are kind of named ourselves like a citizen initiative in art, science, and technology because there was a really mixture of uh, people uh, in our group. There was very young performance artists, Geger work in the government, while with an architecture, design interior, uh, they built a farmer and doing yoga, and me, civil engineer, doing art, industrial engineering, doing code, a businessman, and also a microbiologist in, uh, in our group. This is our house. It's kind of like similarly, uh, similarities in different collective. We usually have a kind of like a private house, and then we kind of transform it into a public place. And you have the living room to, to, to do con conduct workshop, public programs, etc., etc. And we usually do workshops, collaborate with uh, the schools, and we always interested in hacking, electronics, of course, biology, and sometimes we also do do exhibition. And I cannot play this. I have to play the media. Uh, yeah. 
So one interesting project that we did also, like, if you look at this, this is like the water flea, if you know. Like if it's in the water, you cannot see it. And you, when you got scratched to the skin, it's really itchy. Uh, so it was another collective from our friend Swiss who introduced us to this uh, kind of uh, microscope from webcam that you flip the, the lens and then you can look into like tiny, tiny organism in the waters. We also conduct this kind of workshop. That's a guy who came to us and introduced us. And uh, we become connected to a larger uh, network called Hacteria, also a collective in, in the world. And this is water bear from that microscope. So our activities kind of interdisciplinary in, 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 in that sense because uh, our, we, uh, we think ourselves, uh, many of our project can be anything and as, as long as it involves collaboration between the members and the society. Uh, one of the project is uh, about alcohol, and it was in the during in the 2009. There was a new regulation from the government, uh, raising the alcohol tax to 400 percent. And there is a lot of cases of dying and poisoning in, in the society. And one of the most famous one is this uh, Russian pilot who drink Indonesian alcohol and. That and, and died. And we look back into the Indian, Indonesian history. This is a Dutch brewery, brewery uh, factories back in the colonial, colonial time. And we don't really have our local beers because, uh, like here, Bintang is actually Heineken, and this is Hein Anchor is actually San Miguel companies. And we have uh, our own old man brand of uh, red wine, which actually made by papaya, I think. <laughs> and there's a new culture of Indonesian sitting in the 7-Eleven type stores drinking beers. And we started to think like why we are drinking beers. And because it's imported and we actually have a local alcohol called Chiu. Mm. This is an alcohol from sugarcane. Very strong. It was it was uh, come from the colonial time where sugar factories is all everywhere, <laughs> and people are just making drinks uh, with the sugarcane. Forty percent, and it was taught by. Uh, I just recently found out that it was, uh, it was actually the immigrants from the South China that come to us and teach us how to make this. So thank you, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and just just an off topic a bit. This is how they sell it. I I, I just recently visited them. So so it was like around one euro for a liter, and this she made it by herself. She just like put it in this like small uh, pot, pet bottles, and we can bring it. It's really cheap compared to the beer that we have. It's around two euros, which doesn't make sense. And again, back again. And again, like uh, the, this is uh, we we look at the history. Uh, as you can see, Heineken beer Chap Bintang or brand is Bintang, the star, the red star. And it was like a brewery back in the 50s. It was taking the picture. So, so the Dutch is already already kind of infiltrate us with the beers. And we do a lot of workshop. And because our friend, the microbiology, said like, hey, why don't you make your own alcohol? And he was uh, doing like a research about uh, biofuel. And we were like, are you trying to poison us? <laughs> but because we don't know at that time. But then he teach us how to make, to make beers. And we started to make uh, experiments with 30 different fruits and kind of uh, also try to make it uh, as possible that people can make it in their own house, in their own kitchen. 
And surprisingly, a lot of people came to our workshop and just because they want to make wine. Uh, it was interestingly enough, uh, we also made a, uh, made an installation of that and <laughs> still going on until uh, this alcohol project is going on until now, basically. We always get invited for, from the artist uh, collective spaces to give this workshop and they always want to have a free wine, of course. And the Biennale, uh, Jakarta Biennale 2013 also invited us for this project and we kind of make a parody of the young man brand instead of the old man brand uh, of this uh, winemaking. And yeah, lucky enough for Serum Collective because after they dismantle it, they have uh, free wines to drink. Uh, another project also, it's about street art. This is just to overview our projects. Uh, our friend Geger, who works in the government, he likes to take pictures of street art in the, in the public, and he collected it and posted it in his Facebook. He basically is not an artist, and he started to, I asked him, like, why you put it in Facebook, and maybe we can make a dedicated blog or website, so it's, it's a better archive than archive than, than the Facebook, because it's so difficult to get anything in Facebook. So we make this, this kind of uh, website for street art with the geotag as well. And because of this project, he become very connected to the local street artists uh, uh, communities. And they started to invite us to projects, activism on the street, repairing like some kind of uh, infrastructure for pedestrians, for, for the bicycle. Because at the time, uh, the major of Yogyakarta was uh, trying to delete all the infrastructure for the bicycles. And, and we came up with this project called Martikuta. It's involving a lot of collective, uh, in, in involving the, the bicyclists, the pedestrian, the fables, that we go to the street. And Martikuta means like we take care of the city. And people are painting, again, the infrastructures. Some take, uh, taking care of the illegal banners of advertising. And we put it in the, in, the, in the back of the truck and because it's Sunday, we go to the government and install it there. So it make a really big, huge uh, news because at that moment, at the same time, when we paint white this, uh, this bridge, there's a huge GSM companies that using uh, infrastructure like walls or houses in the, in the cities for their advertisement. It was their kind of like cheap way for advertising that they pay like private houses to, 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 to paint them with uh, this, uh, this uh, advertisement of them, like Axis is a GSM company at that time. And when we painted that white, immediately in one day, they become again with this brand. So we arranged together with the With the people, with the other communities, to to make the to paint it white again, and with the garbage, then we got the the headline so so the mayor uh, kind of look at us and intrigued by by our movement. So this is just a headline of the it's called birthday. The mayor got trash for present, and this is some people there like uh, painting it white and statement of the cultural heritage and history site is not for advertisement. The, this activities of us is, is very, very normal because uh, I'm gonna offer for you another collective called Jatiwangi Art Factory. This is amazingly project from them is uh, the ceramic festival. They, they held it annually. They got 5,000 people to play an orchestra of ceramics in one day. It was a really amazing. They, they are located in Cirebon, uh, like kind of between Jakarta and Yogyakarta. And if you have the chance to, if you are interested in collective, you, you have to look at them. They, they are located in uh, rural areas, working on specific rural areas, and how they develop art in, this, in, this, uh, in, this, in their space with connecting with the local people by organizing such a massive 
uh, festival every year in an unknown, basically in an unknown territory. Another also interesting is Kunci, Study Forum and Collective. They initiated uh, the School of Improper Education recently. And the idea is to invite the students to, to initiate what they can share. Uh, talking about to make a less hierarchical ground between teachers and students that everybody can become a teacher and become uh, anyone can become students and they have doing this for three or four years and many students can initiate what they can they can teach maybe if there's no one initiating there's no course anyway but it's very interesting how they they after after from 1999 after 20 years of practicing they really look into the transformation of their collective to the informal education informal education also of course ruang rupa and good school another another collective that's now initiating a school and they're looking at of the collect uh, study for collective and uh, contemporary art uh, they just recently become the curator of documenta 2015 uh, the 15th do documenta edition uh, and it's it's been several times they were uh, selected for curating and it's quite interesting for me to see how collective can curate an exhibition. They were doing the songs back in Arnhem. They were doing also Sao Paulo Biennale. And of course, they also running the Jakarta Biennale in 2013-2015. Again, also Forum Lenteng have initiated a, a, a big festival in Indonesia. Uh, two of them is Archipel, International Documentary and Experimental Festival. It started like five years ago, and then also Pekan Seni Media, we're focusing more like in media art. They have been doing this for two or three, uh, three times in Indonesia. Of course, also they also have a study platform now. And recently, we, we have a, a six collective of Jakarta, collaborate with six collective in Southeast Asia. It was initiated by Ace House Collective. And there's a live patch from Yogyakarta, Survive Garage, there is a uh, crack, Ruang Gulma, also from Yogyakarta, Mass 56. Uh, we are inviting six collective from Southeast Asia. It's tentacles from Thailand, Wasak from uh, Philippines. And then there is two, two collectives from Timor-Leste, from Recreative and Gambel Art Collective. And also there's Rumah Api from Malaysia. And one we invited from Tanah Indi from Indonesia because Indonesia is too big. There's the east part. We we think that the necessary to have a representative. It's very interesting. The 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 project is how we can we can become temporary collective, like members from one collective can work with other member from the other collective, and kind of make their own project in a temporary collective. And for me, it's quite interesting. And I was invited by uh, as a facilitator for that time, and I'm inspired by this this uh, technique in the experimental music that people can bring their own instrument and jam together, and just just become one band just for a certain moment. And I'm trying to look into this uh, this uh, this method of temporary collectives, uh, inspired by also by Hakteria Lab 2014 Yogyakarta. It's a two weeks of interdisciplinary practice. People from many backgrounds come together and initiate a project. Another interesting also, the Instrument Builders Project also picked pick this temporary collective uh, as a subject by inviting six artists uh, from Australia and Japan and Indonesia to work together to initiate collaboration. So from the Arisan Tenggara, there's like six projects coming up. And one of the, the projects that I'm quite interested in is the, we call it Commons Credit Co Cooperativa. It's a basically a group a form of cooperation, cooperation in Indonesia that people can, can we call it, invest your time and skill. This is just some documentary of the process with the uh, 12 collective. 
during Arisan Tenggara. That's Ali uh, from uh, Ali from Philippines. So many discussion. It was full intense of two months projects. The opening, and this is the the project of the CCC. So we have, for example, if I'm, if I have a skill of painting, and I I and I need someone, uh, if I have an exhibition, and I need someone to to help me for for my exhibition. I will ask, for example, two hours for my friend Riyar, who can design the poster for it, and also can I I can ask for two hours also time for a curator of friend of mine. Uh, to write something about my exhibition, so the idea is to help artists to to kind of help them in artistic production, but also kind of to make equal of uh, profession and disciplinary at the same time. Interestingly, the, the 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 Jogja Biennale just just invited us, the Arisan Tenggara, to 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 become part of the the highlight of the Jogja Biennale upcoming on 20th of October, and we initiated a, an open call for artists that never have the chance to be to be to exhibit in the Biennale, and we will communicate them with time. Basically, all the members of the, co the, co the cooperation will write all their skills and will help two artists to exhibit in the Biennale, the upcoming Biennale, which is in 10 days. And two artists were selected is uh, Andy Bascoro and Manda Talita, Selena. Uh, and I'm also interested to, to, to see uh, what's coming. I think some people from the Parasite is coming. It would be great to meet you there. And uh, I just to close the this presentation. I found very interesting last night uh, about collectives. It's about yeah, Justice League is a collective of superheroes. Uh, I just found it last night, and it was really interesting. So being part of collective, I think, is also to understand everybody's weakness and try to cover them all, uh, and and also knowing their super super power. Uh, it's it's uh, of course there's a lot of drama in working as collective. Also, how how we can work with uh, each other ideas. But in case in this talk, I was really also asking if we are running an alternative uh, alternative space, but. If the main space in Indonesia just didn't work and the alternative space work, can we reverse it? I'm just throwing the question, uh, is there an alternative to an alternative? Okay, thank you. <laughs>